The Super Bowl is this weekend, and Super Nintendo World is now coming to the U.S. Coming up right here on The Brave Club. What's up, Warriors? Welcome to The Brave Club. I'm Salma. And I'm Jaylene. We're here with our co-host, Knox and Amani. Today is Friday, February 10th, 2023. Happy Friday. Yay. Yes. The week went right really fast. Yes, it did. Really fast. What very... are you guys doing for the weekend? Um, well, it's Super Bowl, so we're probably going to do like a little... Watch party? Yeah. yeah. Super Bowl watch party. A lot of people yeah. are probably going to do that. What's mm -hmm. the weather going to be like? This weekend? Uh, for today, we have mostly sunny. We have a low of 65 degrees and a high of 85 degrees. And for tomorrow, it's going to be rainy. We have a low of 65 degrees and a high of 80 degrees. Hmm. What about Sunday? Uh, it's going to be windy. We're going to have a low of 53 degrees and a high of 67 degrees. Hmm. So there's some rain coming up. That's mm -hmm. good. We need yeah, some rain. I mean, yeah. I don't like the rain, but I feel like it's necessary. It, it, it is necessary. Yeah. When yeah. you don't get it a lot. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be good weather this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So speaking of weather, you also need to have good weather to go to a theme park. So we're going to go on to <laughs> lifestyle. Um, and we're going to be talking about Super Nintendo World, which is now coming to the United States. They have one in Japan already, but now they're moving it, obviously, to the U.S., like I just said. Um, so in February 17th, one is coming to California. Um, so they have where it takes you to the world of Super Mario. They have a toad stool cafe where you can enjoy Chef Toad's favorite recipes offered in the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, those are like on screen are going to be like what it looks like on the inside and like some of the foods. Um, but... You can also collect keys for a chance to defeat Bowser Jr., which you can do the Goomba Crazy Crank, Koopa Troopa, Koopa Troops Power Punch, Piranha Plant Nap Mishap, and Thwomp Panel Panic. Very interesting. Um, yes. <laughs> um, also, they have the Mario Kart, uh, what's it called, the Mario Kart ride. It's called Bowser's Challenge. It's a 4D and 3D ride where you put on special goggles and battle team Bowser alongside Mario characters in the game. You'll steer through courses that are underwater and in the clouds, collecting coins and throwing shells to win the Golden Cup. The game has multiple outcomes, and the chance to raise your score, mean Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge, is more fun each time you ride. They also have a 1UP factory, which is basically a souvenir shop where you can just buy some of the um, souvenirs, like probably like some plushies, some shirts, Mm. And figurines. Um, they also have interactive play at Super Nintendo World. Um, so they have these little like power up bands where you can use it to score throughout the lands as you complete challenges, defeat Bowser Juniors, collect digital coins, and more. Oh, wow. I never knew Nintendo World like was actually like a place. Yeah, yeah. You go. yeah they already have one in Japan. So is that the only one? The only other one? The in only Japan? other one right now. So they're making one February seventeenth for California, that's when it opens. Um, and then also, then 2025, they're going to bring one in Florida. Hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, in Florida. Yeah, in, Florida in Orlando. Third? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. In 2025. No. So it's, it's still a while away. Well, maybe I'll go there in 2025. <laughs> yeah, not, a lot of little kids will like them. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, yeah. I love Super looks Mario. Pretty fun. Even regular yeah. adults. Yeah, yeah. It like, looks like... It looks fun, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You said thwomp? Panel, panel. Yeah, that's what it's called. You know the little, um, the gray things with like the spiky things? Oh, yeah. like the little guy with the face? Yeah. yeah the, They're called oh, yeah. like the womps, I guess. <laughs> ah. Okay. Interesting. Let's go on uh, celebrity. celebrity gossip. Okay, so for celebrity today, where this week has all been, been all about the Grammys, so today's final story about the Grammys, Madonna has spoken out about criticism against her appearance. Um, she spoke up about this experience on her Instagram. Saying she was <laughs> saying she was caught up in the glare of ageism after a close-up photo of her went viral. Um, this image was taken while Madonna was introducing the Grammy to Kem Petras and Sam Smith for their performance of Unholy. <laughs> um, Madonna called it a history-making moment, adding instead of instead of focusing on what 
I said in my speech, which was about giving thanks for the fearlessness of artists like Sam and Kim, many people chose to only talk about close-up photos of me taken with a long lens camera by a press photographer that would distort anyone's face. And there's mm. been a lot of controversy about That's this year's so, Grammy. So she said that she got his, her face distorted? No, no she, yeah, she, she was saying plastic that, surgery. Yeah, uh, but she's was, like making comments on what other people are commenting about her face. She's saying that other people mm. are just like saying that because the like the camera just like took a picture of her badly or something. Uh, yeah. But she was, but she was pretty in that Yeah, picture. she was so she was pretty, pretty before. The, when they was showed the one with her in like the red shirt. The before and, and the after. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she, Jesus. You know, she didn't need all that yeah. plastic surgery. Yeah. I mean, yeah. How old is she? I have no idea. I but, shall look that up right Yeah, now. see that one. And then her like hair, I guess. Is that how she had her hair styled at the Grammys? No, you know I feel like the one on the right is how she had it. She's 64. She's 64. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, the 64. other, the one in the red shirt was the one before. Huh? Yeah. It is, it is on the, the... Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. So the one where she's in the... The, hmm. the yeah, right the black side is, is, the, is the, the one that she wore to the Grammys, which is after her yeah. surgery. Uh, after her yeah, plastic I feel like she should yeah. not have gotten Yeah, that. she didn't need all that, but yeah. she's 64 years old, so maybe oh. she was just feeling not so confident in herself and... She wanted yeah. to some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but moral of the story, you don't need plastic surgery yeah. mm -hmm. to be beautiful. Nobody. But yeah. Okay, let's move on to sports for today. For sports, uh, Super Bowl Sunday is in two days, and the Chiefs and the Eagles are going to be playing. The Eagles are up 1.5 points and the favorites to win. But um, Drake is still putting a $700,000 bet on the Chiefs to win, but... He's kind of just Drake, so. But he also put a lot of other bets and ended up betting a total of nine hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars, all in favor of the Chiefs. And if he won every bet, he will make around five million dollars. So. Yeah, if the Chiefs do really good, maybe Drake will be even more rich than he already is. But I don't think he'll he make over five, five million. what five, five million, million dollars. dollars. That's crazy that you put that much amount of money. Yeah. So he'll like. What if he leaves? Yeah. Yeah, then he. Like, <laughs> well, like he's Drake, so seven hundred thousand yeah. doesn't matter to him. But. Right. Um. There's still some injuries that might affect the game. Patrick Mahomes, uh, got a had a uh, sprained ankle against the Jaguars. I know he's still playing, but he's not going to be at a hundred percent. He said. He said he doesn't know how close to a hundred percent he's going to be mm -hmm. when he's playing. And uh, the wide receiver Juju Smith is still recovering from a knee injury. Schuster. Schuster Smith. Um, or, <laughs> or, 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 wait, what is it, Smith Schuster? No, oh, Juju Sh Smith Schuster, whatever. I think I wrote it wrong on here. But has a knee injury that he's still in recovering from. And uh, also for the NBA, Patrick Beverly was traded to uh, the Orlando Magic from the Lakers for center Mo Bamba. So, yeah, the Lakers lost Russell Westbrook and Patrick Beverly recently. So we'll see how that works out for them. But yeah. So we'll find out on Next Sunday. Week. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can update on us. Sunday we'll yes. see what happens. Mm -hmm. And I'll update you guys on Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's move on to Colt. With our Warrior. With our Warrior Ninja. updates. I'm hey, back. Okay. Hey, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Um, uh, the shelter drive, that's ending today. So this mm. is like your final day to turn in any stuff that you want to give to pets and shelters or earn raffle tickets because today is it and then after that, no more. Um, mm. Ooh, today is also the last day for School Counselor Appreciation Week. So if you want to tell your school counselor how much you appreciate them or like, you know, want to give them a gift, I would say now is like the right time to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, thank thank uh, our school counselors for, you know, helping us out through okay. stressful times in like our school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, we also have Warriors Boys Basketball Conditioning. That's February 27th, 28th, and March 2nd, 3rd, so, 2nd and 3rd at 4.15, through 5.30. Uh, tryouts are March 6th, 7th, and 8th after school, and all of the people who want to do tryouts have to go to all the conditioning in order to try out. 
Uh, you also have to have a releasing consent form in order to participate. So you have to pick it up from Coach Broadway from the gym or just the front office, which is you know where most people go to pick up their flyers. And once you have all that, you're all set and ready to go and try out for the basketball team. Mm. Mm, that's fun. Yeah. That's uh, fun. Got a pretty good week we have so far. It's Friday, so happy yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you guys for having me on. Yep. <laughs> we'll see you back on Monday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see you on Monday. Monday yes. <laughs> thank you, Colt, for our Warrior Updates. And now let's move on to the Black History Clip of the Day, celebrating African-American figures who have made a tremendous impact on the United States and around the world. <laughs> Thurgood Marshall may have been inspired to become a lawyer after pulling a prank in high school. As punishment, his principal made Marshall read the U.S. Constitution, which outlines the rights all Americans should have. But Marshall was born on July 2nd, 1908 in Maryland, a time when black people were discriminated against in southern states. He knew that black people didn't have the same rights as other white Americans and realized the best way to fight for justice was through the law. After graduating from law school, Marshall started working on civil rights cases to fight for equality for African Americans. But probably his best known case was Brown v. Board of Education, which challenged school segregation when white and black students were forced to go to separate schools. Marshall argued in front of the Supreme Court, the highest court in the United States, that separate was not equal, as people who supported segregation believed. Part of this case involved an African American student from Kansas who wanted to go to a white school six blocks from a house instead of riding a bus to a black school more than a mile away. The justices agreed with Marshall, and in 1954, school segregation was abolished. The segregation happened slowly, but Marshall kept fighting. Then in 1967, President Linda B. Johnson appointed him as the first African-American justice to serve on the Supreme Court. He was quoted as saying, in light of the sorry history of discrimination and its devastating impact on the lives of Negroes, bringing the Negro into the mainstream of American life should be a state interest of the highest order. To fail to do so is to ensure that America will forever remain a divided state society. He continued to fight for civil rights using the law to protect all people. He died on January 24, 1993. That's really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First Supreme Court, I think. Justice. First yeah. African-American. African Supreme, 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 Supreme Court. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's wrap, Let's wrap up the show. Yeah. Students, reminder to keep an eye on your goals and always remember you can ask teachers for any help or tutoring if you need anything. And be aware of the tardy policy. Make sure you get to class on time and put away your, put away your cell phone when entering class and only use one earbud during transitions. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay connected with us on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all SMS news and events. Warriors, remember you are brave, believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success, and engage and excel in learning. That's all we have for today. Thanks for stopping by. Have an amazing weekend, and catch us next time right here on The Brave Club.